that. Well, point out to us to what, what your questions are, what your concerns are about oh. how that shirt was made. First of all, you know, I'm questioning the use of government resources to send printed T-shirts to every control center, you know, worker. Um, so that's one question, you know, the fact that they spent money to do it. The second question is, I mean, using the record books, again, that was a controversial issue with the primary election, using that as their depiction on their T-shirt. The next item is, County of Hawaii is selected. That might be answered by the fact that it's the first county that appears on the picture, but then it's my polling place that's then used, which is, if they're going in line like they did with the counties, then you would expect them to have picked 0101, and they didn't. They instead picked my polling place, so which seems you, rather personal. So when you, when you saw this T-shirt for the first time, what mm -hmm. was going through your head? You know, honestly, when we got the T-shirts, I didn't even pause to look at it. So I, I, I glanced at it. I didn't really notice it. It was at the end of the day when we had finished our work that we started to look more closely at the shirts, and then I realized that it seemed unusual, that it was the record book, County of Hawaii was depicted, and then I looked up the precinct, and it was mine. So I just thought it was very personal. And I didn't, I didn't quite understand why they would do that. Did you feel kicked down? Did you feel bullied? How did it make you feel? I was surprised. I thought that it was a poor choice, considering that we had so many problems on the, at the primary election to have used this as the, the you know, use this as the, their logo or their slogan for the election. I just felt it was a poor choice, and, and I was surprised and disturbed by it. Maybe they're going to talk about more in executive session, but when it did come up here with the commissioners, were you satisfied with how much they asked about it and about the interpersonal aspect of what, what your feeling was of getting picked on? Mm -hmm. Well, I think that the commissioners will do the best job that they can. Uh, I don't know exactly what their approach is going to be when um, taking up the, the item that they're looking at now in their executive session, but we'll just have to wait and see. You had some pretty strong words, strong testimony today, some emotion involved. What did you want to convey to the commission today about how you felt about everything that happened? Well, I think the, the most important thing I wanted to convey to the commission was to make sure that when going forward, that government is, you know, as I continue to say over and over, government is accountable, that we continue to look into the problems that have occurred, that there's transparency, and that there are changes that are made to ensure that elections are run smoothly and voters get to vote. So I believe that there are strong emotions, I and mean, we're dealing with citizens' rights, we're dealing with the foundation of our political system, the democratic system, which asks each voter to give of themselves by voting, and asks them to make selections and leadership, make sure that that's the choices that they want. And if we can't give them that, we have not, we're not doing our jobs. You feel, it seems like you felt like you had a little more of an opportunity, a little more freedom mm -hmm. to speak your mind today. I do. How has this affected you, this whole process, how has this affected you personally? Well, it's been difficult to manage all of the different aspects of, of the process. It's been very difficult, but it's a job, and I try to do the best job that I can. So, um, as far as it's affected me personally, I'll just say I've done, I've tried to do the best job that I could as Hawaii County Clerk. I am, you know, I'm very, very, I'm in full support. As you know, my last day is December 3rd. I'm in full support of the next clerk. I met him the other day. I think he's going to do a great job, and I just want the best for Hawaii County and for the state. Were so. you satisfied, were you satisfied with what Scott and I will have to say today? I was a little bit dissatisfied with his explanation concerning the ballots on Oahu because one of the things he didn't touch upon was the fact that reserve ballots, my understanding from talking to the program administrator who came to help us with our election on the Big Island, her, what she had told me, her explanation was you always send the reserves out, always. In fact, we made sure that the absentee ballots that we didn't use were transferred to the state. So, the fact that they weren't sent out is a problem. That's a procedural problem. If they didn't send the reserves out with, along with the other ballots, that's a huge error. So, I, what I can't understand as well, and I think um, Commissioner, um, oh gosh, I forgot, Commissioner Zara um, Marshall, okay, I'm sorry, Commissioner Marshall touched upon this. She had said, why the 51 precincts? Why those particular precincts? And I cannot 
really adequately understand, based on that testimony, why it was that those 51 precincts were excluded. Because if you were going to do a general calculation based on the calculation and the, the formula that they used, you would think in equal percentages, you would have been short. But in those particular cases, 51, and only those 51, had those problems. So I think that wasn't really adequately addressed or explained. And I also, you know, again, I just, Hawaii Island is a big island. Small in population, large geographically. So they had, you know, the chief election officer had said that we had run low on ballots. I didn't hear any report like that at all during the day. And there were precinct officials who were calling Hawaii County as well as calling the state. So if that was happening, we didn't hear anything about that. And if they were running low, again, as he had testified, they used the reserves. So if Oahu had sent the reserves out, that might have alleviated the problems. But then the question is, did you have enough reserves? Did you have reserves at all? Was there a calculation of how many ballots were actually used? Has anybody calculated that? I have asked for a review of our polling books and our record books I've, I asked for that the day of the election, and to this day, November 27th, there has been no, no offer to have me look at those books. They're under the custody and control of the state, and they've never given them to me. So I believe that there should be a thorough investigation and thorough review. I commend the governor for asking the state attorney general to look into this matter to investigate. I would also recommend that the state legislature also have Marion Higa the legislative auditor also perform a performance and financial review of the state office of elections because her review will be a little bit different than I think what the attorney general is going to do and even what the chief election officer has done as well. And I have to go back to the fact that in November 2011, I did ask this commission to cover and address certain problems that I had observed while working with state office of elections. Communication issues, proper planning for elections, uh, community, you know, again, working with staff, staffing issues, all of these things, I asked them to look into these matters, and to this date, I don't think the state elections office has ever let me know how they were addressing the issues that I had brought up with them. So these problems date back all the way to, to at least from my observation, from November 2011. And now we're carrying them over all the way to November 2012, and I don't see anything being done to correct it. And we're seeing all these multiple problems that have occurred, both in the primary and in the general. I'm wondering what your reaction is to essentially the firing of Lori Tomczyk, who, who ran, uh, you know, ran the election on, on general election day on your island. Uh, Scott Nago asked for and received uh, her resignation. What's your reaction to that? Well, I just, I can't comment on a personnel matter that I don't have any knowledge of. So I'm not privy to the, the circumstances of, of anything related to that. I can tell you that when I worked with her, I really, I really liked her. Um, she did have some pretty sharp things to say about the way the general election went in Hawaii County. But I do believe that, putting that aside, I think she's a great person, and she ran the election on the Big Island well, as well as she could. Things went very smoothly. County and state worked very well together. And I can't comment about anything related to, you know, what you just asked, Kyoki. What I can tell you, though, is that my interaction with her was very good, and I, I like her. I think she's a good person. What has she told you in the time since the general election about the thing with the reserves, about, about accountability mm -hmm. for it, about taking responsibility or being asked to take responsibility for it? Has she told you anything about how that all went? No, we haven't talked about the ballot issues on Oahu. Uh, the most that we talked was, and the last time we talked was on election day for general election. But I can tell you that when the problem with the, the poll books occurred in West Hawaii, Lori did a, a t address it. Um, it took a little while, but she did address it. And I was satisfied with the way she addressed it that day. Although, again, chief election officers never let me look at the poll books or the record books to further investigate. And I think that's a big problem. But Lori, I think, you know, again, Lori Tomzik, I really like her, respect her, and I think she just did the best job that she could. So when good people or refuse not to choose you, when, when anyone leaves or is asked to leave as a result, do you think the, the right people are having to take accountability for this or this is not going high enough? You know, I think just as I have, you've got to accept responsibility at the top. You cannot just look at your staffing as, as, as the issue. You've got to take responsibility at the top. 
what happens and what kind of level of responsibility is, you know, again, something that's going to be left to the commission. Only they can decide what's going to happen with respect to further and future staffing of that office. The legislature will decide should someone come forward to ask for a complete change and overhaul of the system, well, might come forward and say that the whole office be returned back to the supervision of Lieutenant Governor's office. I have asked for that. I asked for that after the primary election because of all the problems that I was seeing occurring with the State Office of Elections. And the reason why I asked for that is because I do believe that elected officials have a level of accountability to the public to, and can better manage and maintain um, a level of management and control and directly report to the public, which is a little bit different than a commission, which is appointed by elected officials but doesn't report directly to the public. So there's an additional insulation from the public that you wouldn't find with an elected official. So I believe that this office should return to Lieutenant Governor's office, and as was reported by persons on election day, when it was handled by the Gov Lieutenant Governor's office, there weren't these problems. We didn't have these problems, so that's why I think it should go back there. I'm wondering, in your case on the Big Island, did you were you interested in? Um, did you try to reapply for reappointment as uh, as clerk? Oh, just to, no. Just to let you know, our, the Hawaii County has a long history of um, when the council changes over, the mm -hmm. clerks change as well. So it's a it's a it's a part of the process. And but were you interested in remaining? With the new council? Well, when I when I assumed the position, there were you know, three conditions. One, I wanted to make sure that um, I didn't wasn't required to have any political involvement. I wanted to make sure that operations stayed government operations stayed as operations and not become highly politicized. And that was an agreement I had with the council. Number two, I I committed to only two years, and that was my expectation. And number three, I was just wanted to make sure that I had. The ability to manage and, con and 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 manage that office well and independently, and those are my three conditions. So no, I didn't have an expectation of staying. Now with everything that happened, um, are you? How do you feel about taking the position, being appointed to the position? How do you feel about it now? I am deeply grateful to the County of Hawaii and to the Council for giving me that opportunity because I really wanted to serve, and I hope I did as best as I could, and I am deeply appreciative of that. And I hope I gave as much to the county as they gave to me. What so are you going to do next? That. What are you going to do next? Oh, <laughs> that's a story to be told later. <laughs> I think you. I think a story for another day. We'll you addressed this in here in your testimony, but now that you can speak more freely, too. Um, from the April letters from Scott about the mm. people you had to let go, mm. from the T-shirt, uh, the interpersonal stuff of going to the media before going to you. Mm -hmm. um, what just happened with Lori? Is there a pattern? Nothing you could or a pattern? What, what is what is it that you feel about what you are seeing? From I, the word behavior is you know, getting mentioned several times. I mean, all I can do is just point to, I think I think all I can do is just point to the facts. Is, is there a pattern? There's definitely an approach, I think, that's being taken. I disagree with it. I don't, again, I never, I never was in favor of government blaming government. I was never in favor of finding scapegoats. I'm never in favor of that. I think accountability in government requires much more than that. The story is much broader than that. We have to find and fix problems and find solutions for it. I want to say, just with respect to me personally, you know, again, if I'd like to know what the explanation is as to why my polling place was selected on the shirt, I don't have any other explanation for it except that that was something very personal. And it was directed toward me, and I think that's totally inappropriate. And I believe that the chief election officer should apologize for that. So, um, in my opinion, how the you know how they proceed, what management skills will be used, you know how he goes forward. I think is going to be very important, and I want government to set a better standard of behavior and professionalism and accountability to the public because that's what they deserve. What about the lawsuit? Just want to ask you about the lawsuit that um, what happened yesterday. If you can just <coughs> go over that real quick. Um, I, I cannot speak about the lawsuit. I'm represented by an attorney. His name is Frank Jung. I'm happy to provide you with his contact information and leave it at that. 